So initially we thought it was just going to go straight past us, but um, then we saw the size of the flames and they were coming up really close and they sort of looked like they were leaping up over to the one side of the house. So that's when the, the terror sort of set in and we thought, oh, the house is going to go. So we left the house and um, me and the three kids went down to the first dam because it seemed like there was no fire there at that stage. And... Um, and then we thought, well, we'll get a bit further away, we'll go to the second dam, hopefully the fire won't come back down the hill. And we went in the second dam and went in up to our necks and put the blanket over our head. But then sure enough, the fire came right up to the second dam and <clears throat> um, blew right over the, the dam and um, it was very smoky and we, it seemed like we were there for hours. The water was cold, but as soon as we stuck our knees or body out, it sort of got really hot and a little bit burny. So, um, we just kept in right up to our necks. I had the baby on one side and the four-year-old and we were all huddled together and just sort of held, held the blanket up like it was a tent. Tried to keep the smoke out and um, just wished it would hurry up and go past, but it just seemed to take forever. The seven-year-old was being quite brave. Um, the, my daughter was a bit panicky and, and the baby just was really quiet. He didn't say anything. He was just um, huddled in and didn't say a word, actually. Oh, I just... Um, tried to be positive and said look it'll be okay you know you're going to grow old you're not going to you know <laughs> I don't want you to, to die while you're little and I don't know we just kept on talking positively and and said just slow your breathing down don't breathe in too much smoke just <clears throat> just keep breathing and um, hopefully it'll pass and eventually it did and then we looked out a few times and thought it had gone and then it started up sort of again and we could hear the helicopters are really loud right over us dropping water um right near us so they could see us and my daughter was saying can't we go up in the helicopter and i was saying no no we're just going to stay here and eventually it passed and then they had no shoes on so I had to carry them up one by one which is a bit of a saga because they started getting a little bit um, scared for moments there, I thought the smoke was going to get us. Yeah, the, the heat wasn't too bad, but um, the smoke. And when the fire came right up to the edge of the dam um, and the reeds a couple of metres away were on fire, then the kids started getting a bit hysterical. So we tried to shuffle away and um, just not let too much smoke under the blanket. I was thinking, oh my God, <laughs> we made it. <laughs> kids, we haven't let the fire get us. Yeah. Um, We've survived the fire.